What's up men and women? We uh, have got a paint session today. We're going to be doing the V63 matching. I've done this one years ago. Had a horrible camera angle. So got a guy from uh, Arizona sent us some pre-wrap wig awards uh, to custom paint. And he's picked out that V63. And that is one of the all-time favorites. Uh, super popular color. So uh, if you haven't found that old video or would like to see it again with a lot better camera angle and the way we go about it, come on, let's go uh, put down some paint. Let's go spray some paint. V63 pattern coming to you. We're going to get right at it. Uh, we've got our uh, paints mixed up. We've got three air bushes loaded and ready to go. What I've already done is the base coat, which is just a... Um, it's a white base coat, but it's an off-white um, bone color, a little darker than maybe a bone color um, to match this particular bait right here. We just were looking for that little bit of a bone color to show up uh, right there just in that first location. So that's the base of that particular lure. So this is an OG wiggle wart right here and that's what we're going to match so let's get right to it bone color is applied uh next up we've got our green pumpkin olive whatever you want to call it color and uh we're going to hit the nose and this is going to take three or four coats to get this to the shade that we want it Now that black's going to make it look a little darker than it is, just to kind of give you an idea. Uh, you'll see when I get the black scaling put on it, but that's coat one. We're going to heat set that. You can go ahead on this particular pattern and paint the belly and the lip because it's an entire fluorescent tube. Uh, I do put a green stripe right down the middle of that. So, but we're going to get this back color darkened up. One more coat should do it. That was two on it. There it is. Now we're going to come back with our fluorescent. One more coat. We're going to do three coats on the lip and now I'm going to come back with my green. Go right down the middle of that. Okay, we need to flip the bait over. And we're 
we're going to do the belly. Now remember, we want to leave a little of that all the way down. So it's going to come right down the center. Had a phone call there, had to get. So, two. And coat three. Uh, we're going to flip that over. And actually, here we're going to use our stencil from Sea to Run Outdoors. Really, really good stencil I like for uh, these pre wrap warts. Again, well, for they don't fit them as well as the predator bass bait warts, but we're going to clamp it down anyway. We're going to put our stencil on. We got black loaded up. And just make sure we're spraying good. bit of tip dry. And we need to take a little black right down the back. Gonna add a little bit of some white to a brush just to, I want these eyes to really pop and stand out with that red and with such a dark background, it will dull the, um, so I'm gonna, we're gonna paint our eyes. Let me stand that straight up. 
Hope you can still see that. Let me check. Oh, yeah. Which, you've seen me paint these eyes on these warts many a times. If you follow the channel for any amount of time, Doesn't have to be real dark or white. We do want to heat set that black. I don't want to. All right, now what we're going to do is come back and we're going to put a wicked red on, or a, I think this one's crimson red. You can use a transparent red. We just want a real bright. Uh, I don't know if we want a real bright red, but we want one that really stands out. And most of your wiggle warts either had yellow or, or red eyes. I think the last time I'd done this pattern, maybe it wasn't. Uh, we did yellow by customer request, but we're going OG, man. We're matching it. I'll give you a look at the, the bait and tell you the paint recipes again. Uh, as I did in the last video I shot, uh, it's been a few years or so ago. Um, we're going to use, in this case, uh, crimson. Crimson red. So you guys all know I'm an Oki and I'm a... Uh, not only I'm an Oki, but... How about, that, how about them OU Sooners, huh? And, of course, we're going to take that jump into the SEC. We'll see how that goes. Just take your time with it. Uh, you don't want to splatter it. And then you can see that it just leaves a little bit of white. So what I do is just start in the center make sure you don't splatter. and roll it around. Now you gotta have <clears throat> pretty good trigger control and understand where you're shooting paint, but we don't wanna leave that white. A lot of times I, when I'm just painting, I don't I don't even mess with that anymore. But for you guys out there, if you're just starting out, that's a good thing to do. And uh, last thing for this particular pattern is we got a little black in our cup and we're going to drop those eyes in All right, there you have it. Pretty darn close. I got a little bit covered up on my white, that gun. Uh, it's not too bad. Guys, what do you think? This is uh, should be a little bit better camera angle than the last time. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, please hit the like button. Give me that thumbs up, guys. It helps, uh, helps the channel. Uh, giving us a like and subscribing to the channel and uh, appreciate you guys watching each and every week but anyway wanted to remake the v63 uh, and found a perfect time guy from arizona sent me some pre-wrap awards wanting some colors put on them and we got that mission accomplished guys so uh, until next week green country baits we'll catch you later